G'day mate, Dave from Down Under, here again to give you some more tips on our RV Master system. Today, I've brought along a special guest, Richard Johnson. Welcome Richard. Thank you. So Richard's gonna run us through a couple of the special features. One of those is the Auto Gen Start. So let's get into it. So with the Auto Generator, you go to the energy page, which is represented by the lightning bolt. In the top, you have three options, the auto generator button, the start generator button, and the stop generator button. And right below that, you have the energy settings. So what's in the energy settings side? So as soon as you press the, uh, the auto generator button, it reacts to the settings that the user has chosen. At default, you, the battery levels are set. So does a user need to go into this before they actually set up their generator for the first time? It depends if they want how they want the generator to run. Default, it's battery levels. If that's enough, then you leave it as it is, or you go ahead and change the settings. All right, so let's get back to the settings in a minute. So let's go back to our main screen. So we've got start generator and stop generator. How does that work? So these are the manual modes. So if you do not want an auto start and stop, you just simply press the start button or the stop button to run your generator. You might have to press it a little bit longer for safe, safety reasons, but make sure that uh, you are in a well-ventilated area um, to run your generator. So obviously, if someone's not sure, they can always refer to the manual for more technical information. So how do I know if my generator is actually on? So as soon as you press the start button, if you're in manual mode, that will start your generator and on the right hand side you could see your generator status. Right now it says stop but if you had a real generator uh, it would stay running and your hour meters will tick over. All right fantastic now tell me about this auto generator function we've got. Okay with the auto generator button all you have to do is click on it. As soon as you click on it you get a warning saying that you need to use your generator in a well ventilated area or it will cause you harm. This is just a safety feature that you just swipe and the auto generator is now on. Right, so we're getting people to swipe across that screen just so they're conscious of the fact they're going to operate that generator in a safe environment. Correct. Okay, so let's go into a couple of functions on how it works. I believe it'll work not only with climate, but it'll also work with voltage. Correct, and also both. The settings, the settings page allow you to customize how your auto generator starts and stops. Okay. So we can set a minimum voltage and a maximum voltage, is that correct? Correct. So your minimum voltage here is simply if, the, if your battery voltage gets below, for example here, 11.5 volts, your generator will start to start charging your battery. If the battery voltage gets above 13.3 volts, your generator will stop running. Okay. And now explain to me about the climate side of it. Can we can also set it from a climate perspective, can we? Correct. If you set it, if you click on the climate side only, this will only turn the generator on and off depending on the climate uh, itself. For example, if the compressor or the heat pump is turned on and off, the generator will turn on and off. Okay, now you can set it for both, can you? So you can set dual functionality, one for voltage or secondly for climate. Is that correct? Correct. So as soon as you press both, now your auto generator will turn on and off depending on both battery levels as well as climate. All right. Now what's this quiet time function down here? I'm assuming this is like an overnight feature where we can ensure that the generator doesn't come on and wake up everybody in the RV overnight. <laughs> That's correct. So this function here allows the users to either turn off a generator that's running automatically or never turn the generator on so that it doesn't disturb you while you're sleeping. So at this stage, we've got that set. So it's not going to turn on after 10 p.m. or before 8 a.m. Correct. All right, fantastic. Now, from a safety aspect, how do we ensure that this doesn't automatically turn on the generator whilst we're driving? So we, on the RV Master node, we have an ignition pin. So as soon as that ignition pin is enabled or activated when you turn your car on, um, the auto generator will be locked out. That's so a great safety feature. So there's no chance of the generator coming on whilst we're actually driving. Correct. All right, so we've also got runtime on here. Tell me about that, Richard. So we do not want to turn the generator on and off um, quite fast and also gives you the, the user the opportunity to set how long 
you want the gen generator to run. Minimum, time run. minimum run time is a time when as soon as a condition is met, for example, you have reached the goal of 13.3 uh, volts on your voltage, or the climate conditions are met, it would run for that minimum time. So for, for example, right now it's sent, set to 20 minutes. As soon as the battery voltage gets up to 13.4 volts, the generator will still run for another 20 minutes before turning off. Well, that's a great feature because what that means in my understanding is that as it's reaching that 13.3 volts or reaching the temperature which we're trying to achieve inside the van, is that the generator is not turning on, turning off, turning on at a rapid rate. It'll come on, reach the desired level, stay on for 20 minutes, we've achieved that level and then it'll shut itself down. Correct, spot on. The maximum time, here the user can set the maximum time so that the gener generator does not run forever. For example, if you set to battery level and your battery voltage always stayed at 12 volts or 12.7 volts, it will run for a maximum time of two hours for this example. Fantastic, so it's sort of like another safety feature. We don't want the generator if the battery is, let's say, in a poor state, and as you say, won't reach the desired voltage level, it'll actually only run for two hours maximum and won't keep pushing the battery too hard. Correct, and the same applies for the temperature. If you set the temperature to uh, 80 degree Fahrenheit and you're not going to get there, it will run as best as it can to meet that, mm -hmm. and then will turn off within this time limit. So again, another great extra feature where if somebody's left the door on the RV open, Correct. then the temperature inside is not going to be able to meet what, it's, what we're trying to set it for. Yeah. So now we can turn it off automatically after two hours. Yeah. And for everything that I've said, if you want a reminder for it, you've got your question marks on the side. You just click on it and it will show you just a brief description. Fantastic. Now a couple of features on this auto gen set that we just want to cover off on. Yep. Now Rich, you and I were just talking off camera that the auto gen set, there's a couple of occasions when it won't actually turn on. So when you go to press the button, it won't actually press on. Now the first one we spoke about before, it's the safety aspect. You go to press it, if the ignition is turned on in the car, in a coach, then it's not going to, you're not going to be able to press the button. If you do press the button, what's going to happen? It's going to keep retrying, is it? So if the ignition's on, it will not keep trying. Okay. So what happens is that because of a safety reason, uh, it just will not allow you to turn it on. All right, that's great. Now the other reason which we've got is if the time is incorrect. So if people try to press the auto gen set button and the time in the unit is actually not properly configured, is that correct? Correct, so this, this is in relation to the quiet time. Okay. So obviously your quiet time right here in this example is between 10 p.m. and 8 a.m. So what you want to do is make sure that your time, yep, right. system time of your unit is correct. So just to clarify there, so when we're setting the system time, we're actually going into the Android settings of the tablet. It's not actually contained within the RV master program. Correct. It's actually in the settings. Okay, so we've pulled down the settings menu there, and then we, just like a normal phone, we tap into the date and time there, press on clock, and a normal setting screen. We can just adjust that as we require. Yeah, and obviously if you've got Wi-Fi and connect to the internet, it will automatically update. All right, fantastic. So now we know that why that auto gen set button may not work, but as long as those two things are covered off, then we should be great. Yep. Thanks, Rich. Thank you. And as we said before, Richard, if you need any more further details, people can jump online on our website or jump into the manual, and it'll have a lot more information there. And of course, we've always got our help line. All right, fantastic. Thanks, Richard. Thank we'll you. We'll see you again when we do over-the-air updates. Cheers. Thank you.